Seven degrees as we look at still some cars hanging around the state fairgrounds as we look at Carter Finley Stadium. One more day to go. So here's your forecast for the state fair one last time. We've got 52 degrees expected around noontime, but bright, sunny blue skies. There will be a breeze tomorrow out of the northwest. You'll feel it, especially in the morning and midday hours, about uh, 8 to 15 miles per hour. It'll taper off later in the day. Temperature will just get up to 58, and then it'll become calm, drop into the mid 40s. So 9 o'clock tomorrow night, 45. Right now, we're sitting at 57, 58 degrees, 55 in uh, South Hill, Virginia, but it's 65 in Fayetteville, where there's still lingering clouds acting as a little blanket keeping the temperature up, but those clouds will continue to push toward the southeast. 58 officially in Raleigh and Durham, 61 in Rocky Mount, 54 in Siler City. So it definitely is going to be chillier tomorrow and into tomorrow night. So dress appropriately for the state fair if you're heading out there one last time. There are the clouds keeping the temperatures up a little bit. There are a couple other clouds and some sprinkles up in Virginia. Those are moving to the east. Uh, that's just a little secondary push of cool air that'll come in while you sleep and really just act as, you know, like you ever like like broom your house and then you still have a little extra dust you got to get out and that's what that secondary front's going to do because it's going to set us up for a sunny and chillier Sunday. There could be frost on the pumpkin. I'm anticipating the National Weather Service may be issuing a frost advisory for parts of the viewing area because still uh, in many parts uh, tender vegetation growing season could be susceptible Monday morning. Pumpkins left out won't be. They'll, they'll probably stay a little longer if you got uh, a little cold air for them. Next chance of rain? Not until next Saturday, and it's a small chance at that on Saturday. You'll see it in the seven day in a moment. Let me move. Ten. Yeah, that's the rays of sunshine for Sunday. I told you that broom is going to, uh, the cold front's going to act as a broom and really sweep any clouds out of here, and we're going to be very, very sunny tomorrow. Dark at 6 a.m., 44 degrees. Sun's not up till 727, around the low of the day at 8 a.m. I put the winds northwest at 12, just to know that even though it's going to be in the upper 50s, it's going to feel chillier than that tomorrow. 61 Fayetteville, 60 Fort Bragg tomorrow, 60 Rayford, otherwise upper 50s. The rest of the Sand Hills, upper 50s into the coastal plain, except for Clinton at 61, and in the triangle, 57. Durham, 58, Raleigh, 58, Cary, 56, Chapel Hill, Siler City, 57, so is Lewisburg, South Hill, Virginia, 56. There's that little secondary front, just going to sweep through overnight, and then we got clear skies at 7 a.m. with that northwest breeze. This high pressure system, that air blows from a high to a low, so it's coming out of the high, will come right over us tomorrow night. That'll kill the wind, it'll be calm, coldest air settles to the ground, we've got the potential for frost, then the front, uh, the high drops to the south on Monday, and we get a southerly flow, so we rebound briefly, but that dry cold front will come our way to kick the temperatures down later in the week. So 58 tomorrow, 64 on Monday. That's not bad in the afternoon, but look at that bus stop temperature, 36 and possible frost early in the morning. Tuesday, 70, and then that dry cold front comes through, and so by Thursday and Friday, we're in the upper 50s again, and there is your next chance of a slight chance of a shower next Saturday.